From boot camp to the smokehouse, a dine out and support a veteran owned business this weekend. News 8's Allison Royal live in La Jolla to get a taste of this as well as to share with everyone how we can make our holiday barbecue a smoking success. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. I wish I could explain how great it smells here in the kitchen. Ababa's joining me is Jeff. Jeff, what are we cooking up this morning? I'm going to put down a Cajun burger. Uh, it consists of pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, and grilled onions. Uh, we'll see when I'm going to drop it now. All right, let's do it. So, Jeff, I know you're from New York, and you said your mom came up with the name for Bubba's? Yes. We went through a couple different names, and Bubba's just sound the best. So tell me a little bit about how this restaurant came to be. I know that you were in the service, and you went out in 2005, and you decided that this was your dream. Yep, and then I, I worked in restaurants for a little bit, got my skills down, and tried opening this in 2009. I actually found the location on Craigslist, believe it or not, when the economy dipped. And it, I opened, it was a fully built restaurant, and here you go. And how old were you when you knew you wanted to become a restauranteur? I think like nine. I, uh, I was watching Food Network instead of cartoons when I was a kid, so here you go. It paid off, it paid off. And so when you were in the service, did you always know that when you were done with the Navy that this is something you wanted to do? Yeah, oh, pretty much. I mean, I, I didn't really have any other plans and I just got into it and it seemed to work out fine. So when you were working in IT for the Navy, can you tell me a little bit about your first day of work? We were talking before we went on camera and your first day of work is definitely one you'll probably always remember. My first day in the message center was 9-11. So, yes, I'll always remember it. Uh, it was an interesting day. We were under attack, and next thing you know, everything was being going crazy in the message center. Do a lot of veterans come in here since we have so many fellow veterans here in the San Diego area? A lot of active duty, yeah, and a lot of veterans, but a lot of Marines, a lot of Navy, just a lot of active duty because we're in San Diego. People love their barbecue on Memorial Day weekend, and I know so many veterans love to support this business and active duty members too. What do you think it's gonna be like with the beach bumping and stuff like that to have people come in and try some barbecue for Memorial Day weekend? I think it's gonna be a great weekend, at least I'm hoping for it, so I'm trying to be positive. It should be a really good weekend. As long as people wanna to come to La Jolla and go to the beach, I should be okay. I think people are always going to want to come for the Hoya, and people are going to want to taste this burger. Like I said, it smells incredible in here. I can't even explain how great it smells for Eric and Netta. I wish they could smell it, but tell me a little bit about this burger really quickly before we go. Yeah, Look at those jalapenos. I, I want to know so all this that. is a Cajun burger. It's got pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, grilled onions, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. It's kind of a, we call it the raging Cajun burger. So something from the south. Raging Cajun. How do you have such southern flavors if you're from New York? Where'd you learn to cook all that? As I said, uh, Food Network was better than cartoons. So I got lucky enough to have taste buds that if I say it's good, I'm usually worked out well. <laughs> it looks incredible. Well, Eric Netta, I wish you all could have a little taste of this, but I, get I a look at this burger, the Raging Cajun. Yeah, the Raging Cajun. Mm -hmm. Hey, real quick before we let you go, can, can you ask him real quick what his message is to everyone here? You know, we're going to be doing a lot of burgers and barbecues and everything this Memorial Day. What's the message he wants everyone to be remembering here this weekend and on Monday specifically about Memorial Day as a veteran? So, Eric, he's in my ear right now. He's one of our anchors. And he wanted to know, other than the barbecues and the beaches and all the fun of Memorial Day, what's the take-home message you want people to know as a veteran this Memorial Day weekend? Uh, thank you very much for risking your life for our country and defending it. I mean, we need to support the people that defend our country. And let's have a happy Memorial Day. Enjoy yourself, guys. I think it should come down to Bubba's barbecue, have a beer, and <laughs> eat a cake. There you burger. go. Yeah. There you go. So that's what I will be doing this weekend. Yeah. Appreciate our freedoms <laughs> and enjoy our freedoms as well. And uh, thank those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for them here. Thanks for that, Allison. Really appreciate it. Yeah. He said it uh, best there, Netta. You know, mm. I appreciate everything that our service members right. have done, they've given their lives and, right. and continue to do. Right. They continue to do it. He himself a veteran, so he also gave his service as well, and we appreciate it.